Whether it's their adorable eyes, fluffy fur, or friendly face, there are some animals you can't help but want to snuggle up to. However, there are a lot more creatures out there you should avoid touching, let alone snuggle. And not just because they ain't cute. From acids spraying arachnids to fiery furballs, and even newts who possess a sinister superpower, get your safety gloves on as we take a look at some of the most dangerous animals that you should never, ever touch. Acid Arachnid Anything with pinchers and a long whip-like tail is probably best to avoid, and that's certainly the case with the Vinegaroon. Looking like the cursed love child of a spider, a scorpion, and a lobster, this three-and-a-half-inch long arachnid hails from the southern USA and Mexico. Yet as horrifying as these critters look, they aren't venomous, and they rarely bite people. So, what's so dangerous about them? Well, for starters, soon-to-be vinegaroon mamas carry their brood around on their back and look like something that's crawled out of the depths of hell. Yet, the dangerous defense mechanism of these beastly bugs is even more spine-chilling. When threatened, the vinegaroon sprays a sour-smelling liquid from the glands on its abdomen. But it doesn't just smell bad. That menacing mist is acetic acid. Ever noticed the bitter taste of vinegar? Well, that's due to the presence of this acid in the liquid. But whereas vinegar includes about 4% acetic acid, the solution sprayed by the aptly named Vinegaroon contains around 85% concentrated acetic acid, making it a whopping 20 times more acidic than vinegar. Unsurprisingly, skin contact with such a strong solution can be corrosive, causing severe burning and ulceration to the affected area. So it's best to keep away from these acidic animals, Otherwise, you could be left with more than just a sour taste in your mouth. Bugbear If, for some reason, the vinegaroon didn't put you off handling bugs, this next critter certainly will. Introducing the giant water bug, an insect found in ponds, marshes, and streams throughout the world. As their name suggests, these guys are beefy, stretching a fearsome four inches at their largest making them the same length as a standard wallet. If their supersize wasn't terrifying enough, these critters are also capable of delivering a painful bite to anyone who gets too close, considering that they can take down ducklings, fish, and even venomous snakes. Yeah, that's a full snake it's got in a chokehold there. That is not something you want to experience. Anyone unlucky enough to get bitten by these bulky beasties can expect intense pain and numbness around the bite mark. You may be wondering what kind of sicko would approach a giant water bug in the first place. Well, the body of these cunning critters closely resembles a leaf. So, anyone looking to innocently pick up a frond could end up feeling the wrath of a giant water bug. If that wasn't enough to have you frantically fleeing from these bugs, then this sickening sight certainly will. Yep, that's a giant water bug covered in eggs. Males of the species cart around their unhatched young on their backs, taking about two weeks to hatch. Now, despite what a lot of clickbait media sites claim, touching or squashing your hand down on a pregnant papa probably wouldn't leave you with a mangled hand. But, uh, would you really want to test that? I mean, can you imagine if the young suddenly hatched and burrowed their way through your palm? Oh, blah, 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 blah. Thankfully, the giant water bug babies aren't big diggers, so no trypophobic nightmares here. But even still, I won't rest until I've got a restraining order from these terrors. While you want to stay clear of giant water bugs, the same can't be said for today's video sponsor. Enlisted. If you didn't know, Enlisted is a first-person PvP and PvE shooter game that's available for free on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. Fight in multiple World War II campaigns from the invasion of Normandy to the Battle of Stalingrad, and command your squad of AI soldiers in colossal contests 
with hundreds of enemy soldiers battling against you. Luckily, you'll have over 100 tanks, aircraft, and weapons, like this Soviet PPS-43 submachine gun to choose from. Pretty cool, right? My personal favorite feature is the sensational soundscape, along with the awesome graphics, making weapons, vehicles, and the battlefield look super realistic. So what are you waiting for? Play Enlisted now for free by using the link in the description. I know you can't wait to get your hands on it, but now let's get back to the things you shouldn't touch. Pesky Parasites Now, water bugs may be content not burying their way through your flesh, but this next creepy critter loves to tunnel through humans. Jigger fleas are the parasitic insect found in Central and South America, as well as Africa. And these guys are only about the size of a needle tip, yet despite their slight size, you don't want to touch them. Or rather, have them touch you. Pregnant female jigger fleas are known for burrowing into people's feet before sucking the host's blood and uh, developing their eggs. Over the next few weeks, the female's abdomen swells up with hundreds of eggs, then after giving birth, she'll die before rotting inside the victim's skin, leading to an infection. Multiple lesions can lead to the areas of someone's foot becoming infected and deformed, with some victims losing the ability to walk and even requiring amputation. Ay caramba! Much like the jigger flea, the kissing bug is another insect that you want to keep well away from. These critters, hailing from North and South America, have a reputation for getting intimate. As their name suggests, they favor biting humans around the lips. Luckily, the bite's painless, but that's the least of your worries. After feeding on your blood, these horrors will defecate inside you. Not only is that gross, it's also dangerous. The kissing bug carries a parasite, Trypanosoma cruzi, in its feces. When this is passed on to a human, it can develop into Chagas disease. Anyone infected can be left with flu-like symptoms such as fever and headache. But the struggle doesn't stop there. As many as 30% of infected people develop far more severe medical problems, years or even decades after the initial infection. This can range from stomach pain and an enlarged esophagus to heart failure and cardiac arrest. Man, these bugs really need to learn a thing or two about consent, jeez. Well, I bet you won't be touching any of these super creepy crawlies anytime soon, but you know what you can touch? Those like and subscribe buttons down below. All done. Great. Okay, brace yourself. What horror have we got next? Sea scares. Ooh, things are getting a little intense. Well, let's relax for a minute at the beach. Ah, the soft sand, the gentle crashing waves, the abundance of venomous sea urchins and deep sea horrors. Wait, that last one doesn't sound relaxing at all. Well, the coral reefs of the Indo-West Pacific Ocean are the residence of the flower urchin. With such a pretty name, you'd assume these guys are okay to pick up. But that's not something I'd recommend. You see, these sea urchins get their name from their flower-like pedicillariae. But these artsy appendages don't just look pretty, they're also filled with tiny sensors which detect threats through touch and chemical stimuli. When agitated, these fearsome feelers will immediately snap shut and inject venom into whatever disturbed it. To make matters worse, the claws of the pedicillary E may also break off from their stalks and cling to the point of contact giving them the ability to continuously inject venom into whatever touched it for hours. Not good, especially considering that flower urchin venom contains a dangerous neurotoxin that can produce numbness, muscle paralysis, respiratory distress, and even death. But don't just take my word for how nasty touching these things can be. Back in 1930, a Japanese marine biologist who was stung by a flower urchin described feeling faint giddiness, difficulty of respiration, paralysis of the lips, and being unable to speak or control facial expression. Doesn't sound so pretty now, does it? 
But this baneful bouquet isn't the only sea urchin that you should avoid touching in the shallow waters of the Indo-Pacific Ocean. With their massive 12-inch long spiky spines, Diadema setosum are sure to stick anyone dumb enough to pick them up. If getting impaled by this sea urchin wasn't bad enough, their spines are venomous too. Fortunately, their spines aren't quite as potent as a flower urchin's pedicillarii, but getting poked by one is still sure to leave you with some nasty swelling and a lot of pain. As these spikes are brittle and have a tendency to snap off in the skin. Yikes. If you travel down to much deeper depths, between 1,000 and 7,000 feet, you may come across Bathynomus giganteus, also known as the giant isopod. Whoa, what is that? Well, basically, it's a wood louse. Well, a wood louse that lives in the sea and is absolutely gigantic. Cousins of the teeny tiny wood louse we find on land, these aquatic isopods can reach a spine-chilling 20 inches long, making them about the same length as a standard pillow. Talking of pillows, I'm not gonna sleep tonight with thought of this marine menace munching on my arm. Though they are meat-eaters, they're predominantly scavengers who live off carcasses of animals that drop down into the deep, dark depths of the ocean. Because of how far down in the ocean they tend to dwell, there have been no reports of giant isopod attacks on humans. Good. Great. Still not going to be able to sleep tonight knowing it exists, but fine. Sucker Punch Being the size of a golf ball, the blue-ringed octopus makes the giant isopod look like a true goliath. Yet, while the deep-sea crustaceans haven't harmed a human yet, the same can't be said of their eight-limbed counterparts, regardless of their adorably small size, ranging from just one and a half to two and a half inches long, the blue-ringed octopus is one of the world's most venomous marine animals. If you happen to come across one of these guys in the rock pools of the Pacific and Indian Oceans, you better run and fast. When threatened, the blue-ringed octopus displays this pretty pattern. And while it's easy to get lost in its divine design, the blue rings actually act as a warning signal to any potential predators that these guys aren't to be messed with. Now, their bite is usually painless, so you probably wouldn't even know if you'd been nibbled at first. But that'll quickly change. The saliva of these minute mollusks contains tetrodotoxin, a deadly neurotoxin that's 1,000 times more toxic than cyanide. The lethal mix works by attacking your nerve impulses, breaking them down, and effectively paralyzing your body. Before long, you may experience nausea, loss of motor skills, and even blindness. And without treatment, your diaphragm will soon become paralyzed, leading to respiratory failure and death. Safe to say, it really would suck to be bitten by one of these guys. Fearsome Fur Balls Now, we couldn't talk about adorable animals without mentioning this little furry fluff ball, which can be found squirming through the forests of North America. With its wild white hair, this critter looks like the long-lost caterpillar descendant of Albert Einstein. Although this cream-colored character, known as the Laughing Caterpillar, looks dangerous, it's actually non-toxic and safe to touch. The same can't be said for all funny furred caterpillars, though. Take the Southern Flannel Caterpillar, which is also found in the USA. It doesn't resemble Einstein, but this bright bug looks like it escaped from former President Donald Trump's noggin. And just as I'd advise you to refrain from ruffling his hair, it's also best to avoid stroking this colorful critter. You see, the hairs of the southern flannel moth caterpillar are extremely venomous. Anyone stupid enough to give one of these guys a pat will end up with a nasty sting. If they're embedded into the skin, the spiky, venomous hairs lead to a sudden, intense burning pain followed by a red, grid-like outline on the skin that matches the pattern of the caterpillar's venomous spines. But if you thought the immediate pain of the sting sounded rough, 
it's nothing compared to what's to come. After the initial agony has subsided, victims can expect fever, vomiting, increased heart rate, low blood pressure, and seizures. In 2016, a teenage boy in Georgia, USA was stung by one of these devils that had crawled onto his arm. Despite the horrifying hairball being attached to him for just a few seconds, the boy fell unconscious 30 minutes after he was stung. He was rushed to the hospital while having seizures and breathing problems. Thankfully, he recovered, but the whole ordeal showed just how dangerous these hair-raising fiends can be. Baby Barf With their fluffy white feathers and teeny tiny beak, northern Fulmar chicks look like the perfect animal to pick up and snuggle. But if you do happen to get up close and personal with these guys, I'd bring a change of clothes. That's because these chicks, found along the coasts of the North Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, have a disgusting defense mechanism to ward off anything that gets too close. When threatened, these babies will barf up a foul-smelling, oily orange liquid. Looks foul, doesn't it? For feathered predators, the vomit can stick their wings together, hampering their ability to fly. Fortunately, we humans don't have to worry about our feathers getting clumped. Still, I can think of more pleasant experiences than getting barfed on by a bird. To make matters worse, the grim gunk smells like rotten fish and can stain your skin. So while these cheeky chicks may not be the most dangerous animals that we've come across, Touching them will certainly be an experience etched into your mind, nostrils, and skin for a good while after. Oh dear. Similar to those cheeky chicks, seeing this next critter may also lead to a sickening end. Except this time, you'll be the one retching. Anyone that's seen the movie Bambi will attest to the cuteness of deer. However, these mammals can sometimes look much more monstrous. You see, deer are susceptible to these stomach-churning growths popping up all over their body, even on their eyes. Ugh. While it may look like they've been attacked by those big black balls that took down Mr. Incredible, these growths are actually caused by a papilloma virus. Luckily for all the Bambi lovers, these growths are harmless to most deer. On top of that, papillomavirus is species-specific, so anyone touching one of these disturbing deer won't catch papillomavirus or any nasty warts. Even still, I wouldn't get up close and personal with these guys. Though the growths on their own won't cause you any harm, any warts that blind or cripple the deer make their actions much more erratic. So, unless you want to run the risk of getting charged by a blind devil deer, I'd stay away from these guys. Night Mane Okay, that's enough wart talk for one day. It's about time that we focused on one of the planet's cuter creatures, the maned rat. Just 21 inches on average from head to tail, they're adorable, fluffy, and they've got an awesome hairstyle. Who wouldn't want to give these guys a stroke? Well, me, for one. You see, their extravagant hair isn't just for show. It's also used as a lethal weapon. These resourceful rodents found in East Africa chew the twigs and leaves of poisonous arrow trees. By munching on the foliage of the toxic tree, maned rats are able to extract a toxic compound, known as webeyan, which they slaver through their fur like hair gel. Then, when threatened, maned rats will erect their mane to show off their colorful coat and warn off any potential predators. It's unlikely that any sane human would take a bite out of one of these guys, but even giving that furry fur a stroke, then putting your hands in your mouth, could be hazardous. Waban can cause vomiting, drowsiness, slowed pulse, heart failure, and, in the right doses, death. In fact, this stuff is so strong that African tribesmen used to coat their arrow tips in it to take down elephants. There's no record of a human that's been taken down by coming into contact with these rats, but there have been reports of wild dogs succumbing to worse effects after indulging on a furry feast. 
All of a sudden, these rascally rodents aren't looking quite so cute. Bristly Beasts There are few animals as famous for their defense mechanism as the porcupine. These animals, found in the Americas, Asia, Africa, and Europe, come armed with a coat full of spiky spines. Each quill is super sharp, even more menacing than a hypodermic needle, in fact needing only just half the force to pierce the skin. So, getting a handful of these quills jabbed into you is pretty painful. Just ask this leopard. Oof, that really stopped that cat in its tracks. But that's not the half of it. The tip of each quill is filled with microscopic, backward-facing barbs. So while these quills can easily penetrate the skin, getting them out isn't so seamless. Thanks to these barbs, the quills become firmly embedded in the skin, and if they're not removed, can dig even further inwards. Ow. Unfortunately, most humans are smart enough not to touch an animal that's clearly covered in needles. I say most. Back in 2014, a man slapped the back of what he thought was a possum that was blocking the entrance of his house. Turns out it wasn't a possum, but a prickly porcupine. He ended up with 400 quills embedded in his hand. Despite recovering, the porcupine slapper was left with a permanent memento of why you should never mess with these bristly beasts. Jeez, porcupines really get to the point, don't they? Painful Platy With a beak like a duck, tail like a beaver, and fur like an otter, the platypus is one of Australia's wackier animals, but just when you thought these guys couldn't get any crazier, they also harbor a sinister secret on their feet. On each ankle, the male platypuses have a sharp spur about half an inch long, so anyone cuddling one of these curiously cute mammals could be left with a painful cut. But that ain't all. Not only is the male's spur spiky, it's also venomous. Platypus envenomation causes swelling to the stab site, along with long-lasting and excruciating pain that can't be relieved with standard painkillers. If that wasn't terrifying enough, victims can also experience nausea, cold sweats, and even muscle wasting. Back in 1992, a man who was stung by one of these oddballs required a wrist block to stop the pain. That's a technique to block off all the nerves to the hand and usually one reserved for surgery. After that, he required a further six days of pain medication and couldn't move his hand for around three weeks due to the swelling. It was three months before he could use his hand normally again. As horrifying as that sounds, there have been no recorded human deaths from platypus stings. Still, it's best to avoid giving these guys a stroke, no matter how adorably weird they may look. Sea Swine Strange as the platypus is, there's one creature that tops it for weirdness, the sea pig. And no, I'm not talking about my ex-wife in a bikini. I'm talking about this particular species of deep-sea cucumber that lives at depths as extreme as 16,000 feet. Okay, am I going crazy or are these guys kind of cute? Anyway, sea pigs aren't something that you want to poke. Not that you'd ever be likely to reach the crushing depths this alien-like animal lives at. No, really. At just 830 feet deep, the pressure from all the water above is enough to crush human lungs. 16,000 feet would be impossible for you to survive at. Conversely, the squidgy bodies of sea pigs have adapted to exist only under this extreme pressure bringing them within 4,000 feet of the surface, would see them disintegrate. But that's not what makes them dangerous. Covering their membrane is a toxic chemical known as holothurian. When the sea pigs are touched or threatened, they release this nasty stuff to deter any predators from munching down on some deep-sea bacon. And while it's designed to keep deep-sea predators away, humans that come into contact with holothurian also aren't safe. Touching the toxin causes painful skin irritation, 
And if for some strange reason the chemical touched your eye, it could blind you. However, if you were somehow at the bottom of the ocean experiencing this, I think you'd have more pressing matters to worry about. Oh, man -o war While you're unlikely to come across a ski pig on your ocean adventures, I wouldn't rule out spotting one of these curious creatures bobbing along the warmer waters in the world seas. Although they look like a fancy handbag, this is actually one of the ocean's deadliest critters. This is a Portuguese manowar, a species of siphonophore, a marine organism that's closely related to jellyfish. Their peculiar inflated float may be tempting to poke, but that's a bad idea. Poking the Portuguese manowar means you run the risk of touching this critter's deadly tentacles. Their lengthy limbs are covered with stinging cells, which are loaded with barbed tubes that deliver venom capable of paralyzing and killing small fish. In humans, stings produce an immediate burning pain along with whip-like red welts, which stay on the skin days after the victim is stung. And if that wasn't enough, you can also experience shock, vomiting, and muscle cramps. Sounds pretty bad, right? But the consequences of touching a man-o-war can get even grislier. Back in 1987, a man in Florida was stung after getting a little too close to a man-o-war. Despite immediate beachside first aid, the patient suffered heart failure and sadly passed away. You'd think that'd be enough of a warning, but apparently not. In 2021, another man from Florida not only touched, but licked a washed-up man-o-war. Jeez, only in Florida. Luckily, he survived. Although I wouldn't recommend playing your own game of Manowar Roulette. These hazardous handbags could land you in a body bag. Menacing Millipedes Whether it's their long, thin bodies, hundreds of legs, or gigantic size, most of us aren't too keen on handling a millipede. However, one genus of this critter looks a lot more tempting to touch. By day, Motixia aren't the most mesmerizing of millipedes, but by night, they transform into a bright bug. Yep, these things, found in the mountains of California, can literally glow in the dark. The millipedes have a special type of protein, similar to those found in jellyfish, that allows them to produce light from their exoskeleton. The question is, why? After all, it's a whole lot more tempting to touch a shiny millipede than a normal one. So you'd think that glowing in the dark would bring some unwanted predators. Yet researchers believe that the garish glow actually acts as a warning to hunters to keep away or else. When disturbed, these conniving creatures ooze cyanide from pores on the side of their body. In case you didn't know, Cyanide is deadly. So deadly that ingesting just 0.55 grams of the stuff can wipe out an adult human. Fortunately, the amount of cyanide secreted by an individual motoxia isn't enough to seriously harm a human. Still, the toxic substance could stain your skin and cause burning and blistering to the affected area. Yeah, I think it's best we admire that glow from afar, don't you? Ribvenge Millipedes aren't the only crawling critter that possess a disturbingly deadly power. At first glance, the Iberian ribbed newt, found in southern Europe and Morocco, looks like any old newt. It's got bulgy eyes, four legs, and slimy skin. But things start to change when these guys get angry. When threatened, the Iberian ribbed newt arches its back before rotating its ribs forward until they pierce through their skin and project out like spines. Well, someone's clearly a Wolverine fan. Painful as forcing your ribs through your skin sounds, these angry amphibians can quickly regenerate damaged tissue, so this daring defense causes them no long-term harm. The same can't be said for anyone who gets too friendly with these guys, though. While the ribs don't poke out particularly far, they're sharp enough to leave you with a cut. But that's the least of your problems, because as they push their bones out, 
These guys also secrete a milky poison that coats the rib, turning them into a toxic cutting device. And while the makeup of the newt's poison isn't known, it's believed to be lethal enough to kill a mouse. Unfortunately, this milky goo isn't as deadly for humans, although if it makes contact with skin, it's said to be harsh and irritating. Whether it's the spiky ribs or toxic coating, it's fair to say that the Iberian ribbed newt really isn't the animal you should mess with. No spare ribs for me. Thanks again to today's sponsor, Enlisted. Remember to hit the link in the description and you'll receive a free bonus pack, granting you multiple weapons, soldiers, and a premium account. I'll see you guys in the game. Have you ever encountered any of these dangerous animals in person? And which of these critters did you find the most horrifying? Let me know down in the comments below, and thanks for watching.